taken on Coast Trek as a team challenge. Doing something on your own is often easier, but as a team you need to think about each other. My top tips to you as a team player are, always be aware of your teammates and how they're going. Put the slowest person at the front and alternate who's leading and who's at the back so no one person is at the back for too long. Take your toilet stops together. You'll save a lot of time and energy. Make sure you understand each other's goals. For some people, their goal may be just to get to the finish. And for others, they may have a specific time goal in mind. As a team, you guys need to come up with what works best for you. Some of the Coast Trek route might involve some soft sand sections. Don't panic, there's nothing to worry about. Just do some in your training and take on our top tips. My advice to you is that when you're training on soft sand, you're working to get your heart rate up and to build strength in your feet and your legs. Vary your pace and try the difference between a run, a soft sand shuffle or a walk. On event day, your goal is to preserve your energy and stay injury free. So I would recommend slowing down and doing the soft sand shuffle to take the pressure off your hip flexors. When you take on the soft sand shuffle, try and get your toes really deep into the sand, toe first, as if you're a ballerina. You can either take your shoes off and give your feet a break, or keep your shoes on and then put on some cuffs or gaiters, which will help to keep some of the sand out of your shoes. Take on some of the soft sand challenges that we've thrown into our 12-week training program to really work out how to train best on that surface. Wild Women on Top are the experts in trek training for adventure. We've put together for you a program which we've given to many of our clients over the years. It's a combination of trek training, high intensity interval training, and some fun recovery sessions. We'll deliver this to you over a 12 week period. You'll be doing some training on soft sand, bush tracks, trails, hills, and then using your own program or routine to throw in some high intensity interval sessions. One of my top tips for teams that take on Coast Trek is focus on the things that you can control and forget about those you can't. One of people's many fears are that it's going to be very hot. If it's hot on the day, or indeed if it's hot during training, take some of our top tips from our training guide. Some of those are to carry a bandana and keep it wet, hang it around your neck. It really does help to cool you down. I love to carry some icy poles too if I'm going out on a big team training session. Most importantly, be willing to change your training session if a hot day is expected. Stay near the water, get wet as often as you can, wear light clothing, not black lycra pants, and make sure you keep an eye on your team members for any signs of heat stress. One of the exciting parts of taking on a challenge in nature is that you're going to be exposed to many different elements. My top tip to you and your team is to train in all weather, besides lightning storms and extreme heat. But for example, on a rainy day, don't cancel your training session. It's a perfect opportunity to try out your training gear and to see what it's like to walk for a long distance over many hours in the rain and wet. Make sure you take a spare pair of socks, have a good waterproof rain jacket and some spare clothing in your pack to change if you need to. For some of you, you may be walking at night or if it's just a cold day, I highly recommend packing some merino layers. Some of my favorite brands are Icebreaker. They, they dry quickly and they keep you warm if you layer them up. Most importantly, a windproof or rainproof jacket that you've actually tested out in the rain is one of the best pieces of gear you can carry with you. The temperature can drop significantly from the daytime to the nighttime, and I highly recommend that you go prepared for any weather. An important part of your training program will be your long distance walks. These are often the bits that we find the most fun. But I must warn you, don't take on too many, one after the other, and load up many junk miles, because you can be prone to injury. In our program, we show you how to build up the distance over several weeks, and use the long walks to practice the route if you can, or use it to try out your gear, your hydration, your nutrition, 
and your team tactics. Trek training is team training in nature. We love to go explore the bush trails, coastal tracks, stairways and hills and use our body weight and sometimes add weight to our pack to get a full-on workout. It's not just your physical being that will benefit from trek training, it's your mental being too. It helps build mental toughness as you take on some of the high intensity intervals or stair repetitions. It's also a great way to challenge yourself in many different ways, using a pack, poles, body weight exercises and lots of different surfaces out in nature.